Hello everyone and welcome to a disorganized office. Sorry, I'm doing some rearranging. I had some people leave and so there's some space open behind me that normally isn't. Bear with me on that. Maybe next video you see it'll be fixed. Anyways, it's time for the loot anime. Um, again, don't know what the theme is this month. I've really been enjoying opening these without looking at the theme because... If you look at the theme, it usually, I mean, it doesn't give anything away, but they usually say, like, this month will include items from show X, Y, and Z, and not that that's a bad thing for everybody, but for me, like, I think I enjoy the, the surprise aspect way more than I enjoy the aspect of actually, like, knowing what it would be. Uh, so we've got little dragon creatures, maybe? That looks like a chomper guy from... Oh, I don't recognize those. I thought maybe that was the chomper guy from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, if any of you are really old like me. You may remember the metal chompers. Let's get into it. Our first item is a hat. This is about the fourth hat that they've sent me. Um, they're always really nice hats, but I don't wear hats. I'm a girl, I don't really wear hats. It's Monster Hunter Stories. Uh, it must be the mascot, and then on the back we got a nice Monster Hunter Stories logo. Nice hat, pretty red burgundy color. Doesn't show up great again because of the pink lighting in here. Sorry about that, guys. Didn't think it would affect as much as it did. Um, and then we have the orangest of orange shirts. Oh my god, this is like a hunter's orange shirt. This is also not going to show up right on camera, but you're just going to have to take it from me. This shirt is literally the color of Crunchyroll orange. Um, and it's an FLCL2 shirt, which is cool. Um, let's go this right there. It's a cool shirt. Um, FLCL2, of course, actually starting, depending on when you're watching this, it will have already started, but it's starting this weekend for me. Um, very cool. Uh, these custom shirts that they make are really awesome. I'm a big fan. Uh, this one's also going into the actually to wear shirt pile instead of the I might never wear it, so it's just going to go in the corner shirt pile. Uh, and then we've got this month's manga. Ooh. Ancient Magus Bride. Um... This is a really good show. Um, if for some reason you missed the boat on Ancient Magus Bride, the show is amazing. Um, so I'm gonna have to hope. I'm gonna have to assume that the. I'm gonna have to assume that the manga is also awesome. So. Um, this one is not as colorful of a cover, but again, we've got that. This looks like it's the standard one. Um, Seven Seas. Uh, well done. Uh, if you don't know about Seven Seas manga, those guys are awesome. These are the guys that bring, like, a, some of the better manga that I like. Uh, for example, my manga shelf, which has all of Citrus on it. That's all Seven Seas. Um, what do you want? I'm a lesbian. Leave me alone. Um, Pin is next. Uh, looks like that's actually it for... Oh, no, I lied. There's one more really awesome thing. Uh, looks like our pin is for Cells at Work, which is a... There, you can actually see it really cool. Um, it's actually a... actually know what this is. Um, this is uh, Kodasha's... Kodasha Comics's version of it. But Cells at Work is actually a show about uh, little tiny... well, their body cells. is in the body. The cells of the body. And it's uh, personifications of the things in your body in an anime form, in a cute form. Um, the last thing that's in here is really cool. Um, this is going to be really really hard to see on camera guys so I apologize for that in advance um, maybe I'll see if I can take a snap a picture of it and put that in the video but here we go so this is it looks like an animation cell um, I don't know if it's an original cell or not it's from magical girl Lyrica Nanaha reflection um, it does look like it has yeah it's not I don't think it's original it does say not for sale on it um, but if it was original, it has like, if you can see on there, let's see. Oh, you can't really see it. Oh, there it is. It has like original pencil markings on it. This is a super cool thing, Crunchyroll. Um, I'm gonna have to go buy more frames. Uh, yeah, I mean, this is the kind of thing that I can like, I mean, I love it when Crunchyroll gives me something like this that I can frame and use. Um, I'm not really a fan of, you know, Nanoha, but, um... This is cool enough that I don't care. I actually have a couple of original animation cells from a couple of other shows. Uh, and my Pride and Joy, which is an actual original animation cell from the first movie of Ghost in the Shell. Um, 
which I paid a pretty penny for at a convention, but it's an actual animation cell from Ghost in the Shell. Um, this does not appear to be an actual cell, it's just a, a recreation, although I will tell you on the poster, uh, it's really pretty. That's really quite a pretty uh, piece of there. I like that. Um, I'm always in for art. I think uh, Blue Crate's been a, doing an awesome job of branching out and getting stuff that isn't normal. I got really tired of just kind of getting like a game prize level fig and a um, and a t-shirt for a while. No, no, that I don't. Not that I don't like figs. I mean, look behind me. It's just you know figures stacked as deep as you can go. Um, but I really like the current format where we're getting a manga, a t-shirt, and something else. Um, could do without the hat. But I think there's a lot of people that wear hats. Maybe there's people that collect hats. You know, so that's cool for hat people. All right, let's take a look at the poster. Uh, FLCL poster, which is good. Um, again, the light in here, guys, is going to make it a little weird to see this because it is not of a, color, of a standard color. Um, oh, this is the alternate universe box. So here's the, the poster from uh, classic FLCL, or Fully Cooley if you prefer. That's this is a cool poster. Um, Crunchyroll's real inconsistent with the print on their posters, so this one is one of the soft ones. You can see the lines there, especially around the faces are just really soft. Um, I will not be framing this one, but it is still a pretty poster. So let's see what we've got here is the FLCL T-shirt, of course. Um, Sometimes you're just going about your day, and sometimes you get hit by a Vespa riding pink-haired girl who turns your forehead into an interstellar robot portal with a bass guitar. Show off your love for FLCL with this t-shirt featuring the FLCL cast and logo. Obviously, I was wrong. It's not season two. That's season one. I'm sorry, guys. Don't don't string me up. The Loot Crate edition of the Ancient Magus Bride Volume 1 manga, uh, which is very cool. I love to have... Um, I love those. I've talked about it a lot before in previous videos. I love those alternate cover mangas. I can put them on my shelf, and then I can buy the rest of them, and the alternate cover one shows up, and it looks really, really neat. Uh, the Monster Hunter Ride On baseball hat, which I, sorry, crunchy roll, I couldn't care very much. I don't care much. Um, the Cells at Work pin, which, uh, as I mentioned last month, if you guys go to lootcratecom slash animate pins, you will be able to read volume one of Cells at Work. Um, it's completely free digital copy of whatever that this month's manga is in the book box. So this month it's Cells at Work. Last month it was something different. Every month at lootcrate.com slash anime pins, every month there will be a free to read manga of whatever the pin is that month. Which is awesome. If you haven't already started taking advantage of that, you should. Because manga, I did not take advantage of reading manga for a long time. Uh, but now I think it's cool. I think it's um, it's one of the coolest physical items you can own. Sorry, I've got some hair in my eye here, guys. Sorry about that. Um, it's one of the coolest physical items of anime merch you can own, I think. And uh, finally we have that Reflections art print. John Keery and Iris from planet Alteria on the quest to a strange planet known as Earth where they must go to save their dying home world. Yeah, um, there's three different prints. It looks like uh, they're, they are prints. They're not original. Sorry. Um, but yeah, we got the, well, the one of the three. So it's still really cool. Um, mad props for this box. The alternate universe theme box. Very good. Um, I don't. There's nothing in here that I don't like. I'm not going to use the hat, but that doesn't mean I don't like it. I think it's a high-quality item to put in there. Um, compared to some of the other boxes we've gotten, this is definitely better. Um, good job, Loot Crate. I really appreciate it. Uh, what do you guys like to see in your Loot Crates? I mean, if you're buying Loot Anime, uh, you know, it's, it's most people, it's $24 a month or whatever it costs. It's not, not cheap. So what, would you, what do you like to see in your Loot Anime? Do you prefer figures, or do you prefer um, to get the manga and whatever other item uh, let me know in the comments all right thanks guys thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day